and welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation and leave the rest behind. And as always, guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, all of your subscriptions, everything that you do to help these messages reach the collective is most appreciated um, and it really does make a difference out in the world in the collective um, so many people are receiving um, the confirmations and the help that they need from the divine because of you collective and i wanted to take the moment to thank you for what you do every day holy spirit please come through help shield guard and protect this portal while i channel divinely guided messages for my Divine United subscribers, please help us with messages that will help them in their everyday lives, help them in areas of finance, areas in love, areas in opportunity for them in growth, their gifts, their special callings in life, any message that they need at this divine right time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's pull out our herbal astrology here and take a peek and see what the divine has for us mm, honey badger energy you're definitely tough tough as nails you're a scrapper that <laughs> spirit says you're a scrapper like when you were a kid you were always getting in a fight you were always the tough one nobody messed with you Oh, yeah. We have the journey card and the mugwort card. This is the psychic healing card. These are beautiful energies, collective. You are definitely a light worker, definitely a divine being. This is suggesting a long, hard life that you've, that you've had. Now, if you resonate as a light worker, earth, angel, star seed, you realize that our lives weren't sunshine, rainbows, and ponies. You know, we had to kind of go through the rough experiences in life. So we were energetically prepared to be able to help others battle those, those same things. Like we had to experience things so we knew how to heal from them and then help others to heal them. This is ancestral wisdom coming in to help you out. This is generations, lifetimes, past lives that you've had to go through all of your, your lessons in order to be able to do this journey now to help the divine awaken an entire collective. That's God. That's the all-seeing eye up here. You see the rainbow. You see the divine seeds from heaven. This is beautiful manifestation. This is beautiful energy. These seed pods here, they're showing me like a cocoon, like a butterfly cocoon. And you emerging from this cocoon. So it doesn't, like, I know it's a seed pod on there, but they're showing me butterflies in the middle of a transformation oh yeah and you have the dream card too collective you're in a state of sleep where your body is energetically changing while it's changing it's healing you're healing while you're sleeping you're you're your body and your spirit are being transformed into a butterfly, they're telling me. Now, when a butterfly is in that, that cocoon, like you got to think, I mean, they're transforming from a worm and then growing wings and a completely new body. It's like they have to go through like a vat of, of acid just to melt their entire body, just to change. I mean, it's a very painful process, you know? I was just listening to another reader who was talking about butterflies transforming and how painful of a process that, that, that growth is. 
this is growing pains, but at the same time, you are willingly accepting all of the change that is happening in your life and you're happy for these growing pains. You're happy for these lessons because you see the positive results that are happening in you even while you're in the middle of a transformation. You're seeing the positive repercussions of your attitude changing, choosing to, to, to leave toxic people out of your life, um, choosing to think of yourself and heal yourself before you try to heal anybody else. I think that that's beautiful energy because you're taking care of yourself. You're worried about only you right now. So it's like you are in a dream phase, like you're in this dream state moving in and out of your day-to-day -day life a little bit numb but understanding that this kind of hermit mode that you're in right now is necessary for your healing like you're almost enjoying your healing process because it feels like a vacation it feels like time off you may have been separated from an individual that you are healing from or maybe an individual who was the reason you started healing. Maybe this individual triggered you into your healing. <clears throat> so I feel like right now you are just happy to be working closely with the divine. And ha I see you happy knowing you're on your right path. That's it. So you're like, you're saying to me, at least I know I'm staying within my boundaries now. I'm staying within the boundaries of the divine. Holy Spirit, give me some clarification about my Divine Collective here. Um, what message do you want them to know while they are in this kind of hermit mode, going through their transformation? What is the best advice? What is it that you need them to know? What is the advice here? Queen of Cups. They're saying to keep ever so sweet and ever so kind don't don't show frustration don't show bitterness don't show hatred don't show impatience with anybody remain compassionate there's a lot on your plate right now while you are going through this transformation Spirit is asking you to get your priorities all lined up. They want you to pack up all of your emotional baggage that may be energetically tying you down. And they want you to start releasing it, healing from it, acknowledging it. Actually, all of that, strike all of that and put it in the exact reverse order. <laughs> Spirit wants you to acknowledge what troubles you what's the burden what is this wand preventing me from moving on to and then they want you to heal excuse me they want you to 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 break free from it and then heal from it okay and i feel like spirit is going to start identifying the areas of opportunity that they want you to to work out and right now they're telling me that you are most likely have been in a type of hermit mode for maybe the last eight weeks to the last eight months. But during this time, or excuse me, you will be in this hermit mode. Sorry. Thank you, spirit. You will be in this hermit mode for about eight weeks to eight months while you're going through all of this healing, while you're going through this transformation. And during each one of these weeks, each one of these months, Spirit wants you to go ahead and start using positive affirmations. I am worthy. I am chosen. I am loved. I was made to be loved. I mean, I feel like you spent a lifetime giving yourself false affirmations that you were worthless, 
that you were never going to find love, that you were never going to have the dream job, that you were never going to make enough money to survive because the government just hates us, blah, 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 blah. You know, I mean, like you're not holding on to those negative thoughts anymore. So spirit is teaching you how to be kinder to yourself during these times. And when you fully emerge as that beautiful butterfly, you're going to be able to stand in your power a little bit easier because you're going to know you're beautiful. Does that make sense? I love it. I love it. Mm, that one did not want to come out. Yeah. Spirit says that the, the world card here is your completion of your old life. This transformation that you're going through now is going to bring total fulfillment. Total fulfillment. Every preparation, every energetic step that you've made to change yourself, to transform yourself, was the right one. And Spirit says, yes. You had the foresight. You had the intuitive insight that you were going to be successful on this journey but only if you submitted to God submitted to the divine submitted to a higher power than your own and being able to put your sword down and adopt a wand and say God I put you in control of my life this is what this is what's propelling you forward Holy Spirit, give me some clarification on this individual's future path. Oh, yeah. They said everything that you're working on, everything that you're going to be doing in this isolation, in this period of eight weeks to eight months, it is going to lead to your nine of pentacles energy. This is going to be a wonderful breakthrough for you because you're not going to need anybody. You're going to be self-sufficient. You're going to be on your own. You're going to be seen as somebody who just has it all together. And maybe not too long ago, you were an individual who, see, who was seen as just too chaotic. Maybe you weren't seen as somebody who had it all together. You do now. You're transforming into this new individual. You are a beautiful butterfly. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies right now. Yeah. And Spirit says it's just going to get even better. You're going to have the wealth. You're going to have that security, that family. You're going to have such a successful future ahead of you. And all because you chose to change and heal. The choice was yours and you chose correctly, collective. I like that. Spirit wants you to start saving your ideas and your thoughts. They want you to start documenting your journey. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Your thoughts are going to actually help with a future with the future of, of this calling that you have on your life. Now, I don't know exactly what this calling is, but the first step was to heal. So Spirit wants you to start saving your thoughts and document your journey in healing. I feel like Spirit says that you're going to be writing a book or doing something with that information down the line but that you'll need to document it now so you don't forget it. And that way you don't have to guess or try to remember because as you start awakening and as you start tapping into new gifts, you can forget a lot of what you've already gone through and learned at the very, at the very beginning of your awakening. So journaling is probably going to be very helpful to you, Collective, um, especially if they want you to hold on to your thoughts. They want you to stand on the word of God. They want you to hold your romantic thoughts and personal thoughts close to you, your, your truth and your knowledge, hold it close to you. And they want you to write down your dreams, your wishes, and your manifestations. That's what they're showing me in particular. 
standing on God's word, protecting the truth, and then documenting your wishes, getting your manifestations in line. Hmm. Let's pull out the Cannabis Oracle. Holy Spirit, give me some clarification on what my collective is going to be facing in the future here. I see a wonderful life. I see a, a wonderful... A wonderful outcome but what are they going to be facing that they'll need guidance and information on thank you let's see what they say Holy spirit oh we have the tradition card this is you possibly taking a more traditional route in life, maybe working like a, a nine to five job, like a regular job. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We all have to make our money. I have a regular job. I call it my Caesar job. Like my regular nine to five, Monday through Friday. That's my Caesar job. My job here, while I read these messages for you, this is my kingdom job. So maybe for you, you're breaking out of tradition. Maybe for you, this healing was a catalyst for you to break out of tradition and find the joy in God. Find the joy in the divine, the way that you have been introduced to them, not the way that everybody says that you should have a relationship with God. I feel like collective, this is more and more messages about your healing and other people judging you for how you are approaching your healing. Maybe somebody doesn't like the way you talk to God or maybe they don't understand your relationship because you have, you're able to see things. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you can see angels and demons and spirits. Maybe you have um, gifts and abilities as a medium. Maybe you see spirits and loved ones that have passed on. You know, I mean, like, just because somebody is uncomfortable with that and doesn't understand that doesn't mean that you can just turn off these feelings. You can't just turn off your gifts. Believe me, collective, I have tried. To be able to fit in with the world, I have tried. It doesn't work. It just makes me look more ridiculous. When I try to be somebody, I'm not. And for you, Collective, you found loyalty in the divine. And you found loyalty in yourself. You don't betray yourself anymore. You care about yourself. You actually told me that you had made a choice to not disrespect your body by sleeping with anybody like having sex with anybody that was not your energetic partner like your your match like the one you were going to end up with <laughs> you're telling me you're too worried about stds anyway <laughs> that's been coming out in readings too a lot i have to admit um sexually transmitted demons are a real thing collective okay but i feel like this relationship that you grew with the divine is precious. It's beautiful. Everybody's relationship to God is going to look different. You're going to pray differently than me. I'm going to have a different relationship than you have. Some people are going to meet God in heaven and they're going to fall to their knees and cry and say, I'm not worthy. While others of you are going to run to the throne, dancing, screaming and singing and jumping into Jesus's arms. You know, there's some of you that aren't going to know a whole lot about what's going on in the ethers until you get to the throne of God. And you're like, oh, hi. Oh, my goodness. I knew you were real, but I didn't know you were real. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And they're, gonna, they're going to hug you and tell you, yes, you made the right choices. You chose the divine. You didn't choose the enemy's cup to drink out of, you know? 
Like, isn't that going to be amazing when you get to heaven and God says, you did it, kid. Now, we've got an eternity more for your life. I hope you took notes of all of your lessons on earth. You know what I mean? But when you go to the throne and you see Jesus, it's going to be amazing. You all are very special light workers, earth angels, star seeds. So we have the star seed card. This is the mermaid card, the uh, Yamoda card in the deck. Now, I don't know a lot of these deities. Um, I'm hoping maybe you guys do, and if you do, great. But I'm an intuitive reader, and I absolutely love the imagery on these cards. And I know that we have some mer people in this collective, and I know you haven't made yourself known yet, but I know you're there. You send me this kind of stuff all the time, and you could be a strong water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, we also have, we also have um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn too. I see. I see you activating new gifts that you're not going to be familiar with. That during this transformation period, I feel like you're going to start hearing possibly voices. Like you may be tapping into telepathy. Like that may be something that you're awakening to. You're also going to be kind of surprised to see how many people have that ability to communicate telepathically with you. And it's probably not going to feel or be like anything you thought of. <laughs> and we have the stability card, the Sapri card. This is the same as the emperor card in my deck, of in the tarot deck. Okay, so we could very well be talking about a divine masculine going through this transformative healing. Coming into to your power, your true power. Hmm, your relationship with God started in the church, but it ended with you realizing that the church wasn't behind four walls, and you see God in everything, everywhere, at every time, and you're seeing God within yourself because you understand that God lives in you. You are a vessel for the Holy Spirit. And when you can see God in yourself, you can start becoming kinder to yourself. You can start loving yourself more, taking care of your future self. Oh, guys, I love that. Confirmation. We're going to close that one out here. Spirit says there's nothing else you need to know about this. Your path is going to start with the completion of this transformation and then spirit will give you the next step after this transformation is done but they are showing you ten of pentacles here the world card they're showing me all of the pot every card here is a yes 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 this is it's like they are so proud of you they are so proud of you, your ancestors, your divine ancestors, your angels, your guides. They love you. They're rooting for you. They're proud of you. They said the healing that you've gone through or that you're in the process of going through was something you never thought that you would ever heal from. Like you thought that you were going to die. If you were to go through this kind of healing, that it was going to kill you. And you are transforming into this butterfly. And you're throwing away your old life. And I feel like you're never going back to it. Holy Spirit, give me some clarifying closing messages for with our divine scripture here. These are going to be messages collective for your future, what you're going to need on your path, okay? Let's take a look and see. You are my hiding place from every storm of life. You even keep me from getting into trouble. 
you surround me with songs of victory. And that's Psalm chapter 32, verse 7. While you're in this cocoon state, you are allowing God to shelter you, to wrap you up in a cocoon of safety while he transforms you into something beautiful. You gave him a nasty cup of negative emotions and personality traits that you don't want to have tied to you any longer collective. And now he is transforming it and giving you wings. You surround me with songs of victory. Mm. God says that the butterfly is significant for you. That you are a messenger of God. And this is why you are earning your wings. Because every divine being needs a set of wings. And the divine is giving you a beautiful set of rainbow wings. Like they look translucent like fairy wings. Like, like pixie wings. But they're shimmery and iridescent like rainbows. It's like your wings are made of rainbows and light. It's quite beautiful, collective. It's like as big as angel wings, but it's just rainbows. It's just light. <laughs> Gorgeous. You're special. <laughs> You're beautiful. God gave you like the most beautiful set of wings I think I've ever seen in my life. Congratulations, you guys. Woo. Break out of tradition and see how far you go, right? God will cover me with his wings. <laughs> Holy Spirit, come through. He will cover me with his wings and I will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend me. I need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day. And that's Psalm chapter 91, verse 4 through 5. You don't have anything to worry about. You are in a cocoon of protection and God will cover you with his wings. He's blessing you with wings. Wings are very important in this message. I'll tell you what. Wow. Oh, maybe you have a bunch of feathers. Do you have feathers too, collective, like I do? Any feathers. I feel like you have blue jay feathers. You have cardinal feathers. You have hawk or eagle feathers. I even see some yellow finches or can, like yellow feathers. It's beautiful. I do not love with words or tongue, but with actions in truth. This then is how I know that I belong to the truth and how I set my heart at rest in his presence whenever my heart condemns me. For God is greater than my heart and he knows everything. 1 John chapter 3 verse 18 through 20. God knows everything. God knew you were going to go through the troubles in life. God knew you were going to surrender into healing. God knew that they were going to bless you with abundance and joy and pentacles. These, these beautiful ten of pentacles energy. The financial security, the family, the success, the wealth. And it's because you were chosen. You were anointed. You are a star seed. This was your divine inheritance to have this. And collective, I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to see what you do in this world. After your healing collective, keep an ear on out. Spirit will be talking to you, okay? Ooh, I can't wait. I'm just going to go ahead and close it here. I'm not going to go ahead and reveal any more down your timeline. I'm not allowed to look. So anyways, I want you to go ahead and take care of yourselves. Um, hit that like and subscribe button on your way out if you haven't already done so. 
and just know how proud I am of each and every one of you and how proud your guides and your angels and the divine are with you collective. You've already made the hardest choice, the choice to heal. God bless you all, guys. Have a great evening.